Hi guys, it's Inflectra and Alexis speaking. Uh, today we are going to show you uh, a new feature in Rupees 5.6. It's support for uh, component 1 VS Flex Grid. Uh, for, uh, so you may now use it in your test. Uh, the feature of this control uh, from component 1 is uh, that it is actually, uh, let me show it. It's an ActiveX control and uh, it may be embedded in different types of application. It may be part of Visual Basic or part of, of uh, Win32 or part of Managed uh, WinForms applications. So Rapisa may work with all those types uh, of em 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 embedded controls uh, with a very flex grid. Okay, the uh, one feature while well, working uh, with uh, with uh, ActiveX controls is that uh, they need additional treatment to be able to be interacted, and Rupees introduces new tool called Rupees ActiveX, and we need to use it uh, to be able to uh, to record or playback our, our our grid control. So I'm using it to launch an application containing the grid control, so I can use run. Uh, you may see that it actually sh uh, dumps information about recognized uh, ActiveX objects that's, that's, uh, that are available uh, on, on this, uh, in this application. The first screen has Microsoft Flex Grid and it is here and the next screen actually contains uh, VS Flex Grid and it is here. It, it was recognized. Okay, so I, I I only need this tool to to uh, to run my uh, application under test, and uh, now um, uh, I may either close it or minimize whatever. Uh, it may only be useful if you have some unrecognized controls and you want to find out more what kind of controls are here. So support for those may be added or requested from Inflector, or you may add them themselves because it's all implemented in JavaScript and you may do it yourself. Okay, so uh, it's a uh, flag read. Uh, I may fill some data. It's launched with uh, a Active ActiveX launcher, so it recognizes all that grids. And now I can create just a new test to, to show you the whole, whole process. Uh, no, it's not here. Uh, creating a test using RVL. Okay, and we may do recording. So, choose an application. So, let me click and see what happens. Actually, I see that the whole object is highlighted, not the single cell, and that action is recorded in a high level. So, uh, you may see it has click cell and cell coordinates in, 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 in terms of this grid. So, this means that uh, the control is supported. Also, you may see that last captured contains the meaningful name of VS Flex grid. So, VS Flex grid is here. Okay, so we have three clicks recorded. Let me insert, let me play to see if my clicks are reproduced. So all clicks, all my clicks are reproduced. Now, what we all, what else can we do here? Is we may now have additional APIs here that we may use with the grid. One is uh, we may get text from the whole grid. Uh, do full text, actually returns text, and if I specify a path, then it will save the whole contents of grid. Uh, to the file and format uh, is for uh, file format where select grid has a number of built-in formats to, to store its uh, information but uh, I'm going just to use the default one to, to remove this param and uh, if I specify no path here uh, it should just dump this information to the report so may be useful when I need to verify that some information is available in the grid so I may use the result of this operation in further uh, script verification logic 
another useful feature it's useful for all kind of reads if so for example i don't want to uh iterate through rows or columns uh because it, it's possible uh, it, it's possible to get number of rows and columns on the grid and, and so on and get any specific cell but uh, in many cases useful feature uh, is do click text just find some piece of text and click on it because it's, it's called like usually it's username or some unique ID or something that's available in the grid and I, I just want to click on it uh, text to find is let me check something like let's click to the corner like here r23 c24 for example and click type i might just skip it or use l for left click or uh, ld for left double click play so I see it does first three clicks and finally it clicks in the uh, R23 C24. Okay, so the grid, grid support now works. Well, uh, I think that's all. Uh, uh, the, there is there, there are more features related to ActiveX controls. We, we're going to cover cover them in separate videos on how to properly launch application from the test, on how to recognize control, on how to investigate application and so on. But here we only focus on West Flesbury. I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for your attention. Bye.